How's it going guys? It's Trevor here and that is a really bad looking one day chart. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at the one day chart for TRCH, which is now MMAT. So Torchlight and Metamaterials merged and this is their byproduct, their kinfolk, their child ticker, whatever you want to call it. What was TRCH is now MMAT. So why a huge drop today? Well, let's get right into it. If you are new to the channel, or if you've been here a while but you just haven't subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Smash the like button. I appreciate it so much. You guys are the best. On this channel, Financial Liberty 2020, I, Trevor, bring crazy amounts of in-depth knowledge about different stocks and different opportunities in the stock market as well as the crypto market. So you're not going to miss it. It's free to subscribe. Do it. Thank you. So, as you guys see in the title, it's not clickbait. I do believe there is tons of manipulation in MMAT and TRCH, however you want to describe it. Currently MMAT, but what previously last week was TRCH. So if you're a TRCH holder, you're now an MMAT holder. And yeah, I definitely believe there's a lot of manipulation going on with this stock. And I'm going to go in an in-depth seven minute, hopefully long video explaining exactly why I think so. And if you guys agree, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me why you agree, why you don't agree everything get involved please engage with me on this channel I want to answer your questions and I'd like to be able to use your questions for for future videos okay I've pulled this into a one month chart for TRCH which is, which is now MMAT right so we can see here on June 25th the stock price was 495 okay they closed at 495 today Monday June 20th it closed at 796 so it looks I mean if you were to just look at this chart right here you'd be like whoa nice well a little more complicated than that and I think you guys <clears throat> and I think you shareholders know that <laughs> so why is this a misleading chart because there was a stock split and not only that it wasn't just a regular stock split it was a reverse stock split guys this alone is too much it's too much no company does this so much stuff so quickly for investors to not understand okay the first paragraph of this is crazy enough. It says the stock extended June gains on Friday on news of a dividend payment, and we, we don't know how much that dividend payment is going to be. A TRCH stock split, a reverse stock split at that, and the finalization of a merger with Meta Materials. So there's so many different things going on here. This company does not even have a $1 billion market cap on it, and it's doing all these crazy things. This merged company, let me say that, the MMAT itself, has less than a $1 billion market cap on it. So guys, I like the 20% cash on hand to the total mark cap associated with the company as well as I like the virtually no debt that's pretty cool as well as the the industry that they work in I believe is going to be growing heavily big time in the future so all these things great things but this two to one reverse split I am just confounded as to why this company did this two to one reverse split if anyone has a valid reason or has any insight into why this company actually did this two-to-one reverse split please let me know in the comments uh, I because I really do not know and it does not make any sense to me um, it, to me it's personally absurd for them to do this um, and for everything that's going on with a merger with dividend payout and I know they came out with this two-to-one reverse split a while ago right it was uh, I believe June 24th June 23rd which even I say a while ago that's like literally Wednesday or Thursday so if you didn't get out between then you are now stuck in this reverse split okay reverse splits are generally very 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 bad they're not good for companies um, because and they're, not, they're definitely not good for investors without a doubt reverse splits suck for investors and the reason why is because essentially you, you have half as many shares but your stock price goes up okay stock price will fluctuate a lot as opposed to your shares you know that you have a certain amount of shares of a company until well unless they do something like this and your shares do not fluctuate in value in numbers they fl they fluctuate in value because the stock price fluctuates but the actual number of shares you have stays the same so generally if you're in a good company with good cash flow good revenues you know bounce all these things you know growth ahead of it whatever all these things let's say you're in a profitable let's say you're in a company that grows you will make a certain amount per share you hold when you do something like this and you split the outstanding shares in half, personally, I don't like that as an investor. I don't like that at all. Um, I, I hate that as an investor. And you can see exactly what I'm getting at on this daily chart right here, where MMAT got to almost $10, I believe, and then it closed the day out at 797 
So you lost 20% of your value because yesterday it closed at almost five dollars, four ninety six or something like that, and then it did a reverse stock split. So all the shares went up to ten dollars, and then trickle down, trickle down, trickle down. People, all these investors get out because they don't like it, or they just want it's the first one to get out. Basically, the game of trading these stocks like this is the first to get out. So once it goes to ten, boom, a bunch of people take their profits. All be before you know it, all of your shares for MMAT are only worth eight dollars each, as well as you have half as many. Compared to yesterday, you had twice as many shares at $5. So you lost a lot of money in one day, okay? And one other thing is that the CEO has not came out and said what the dividend is going to be, how much it's going to be. He said it's going to be between a dollar and $20. Look at how insane this action is from this company because they have not told anyone what the dividend is going to be He's not regulated to any sort of restriction based upon this reverse stock split. So check this out. It says, for companies that pay cash dividends, future dividends would simply be adjusted to reflect the newer, lower number of shares outstanding. So if a company pays its shareholders a $1 per share dividend and undergoes a one to five reverse split, the dividend becomes $5 per share or five times the old payout. Note that the overall sum of dividend payouts should remain the same. Well, when you don't tell all of your shareholders that you know have all this hard-earned money that they invest in something, you don't tell them how much your dividend is going to be, you just give them a range, then you're not bound to any sort of restriction based upon the overall sum being the same. You can put anything you want to that originally was going to be 50 cents and now, oh, now it's a dollar. I mean, you see what I'm saying? It's basically putting all of the power into the company's hands, especially seeing as they also did a $250 million equity sale of offering last week taking a bunch of investor money recent money and putting it onto their cash balance sheet i'm not hating on the stock um, i'm simply saying i'm not going to get any on the stock i do believe that it's heavily manipulated so yes guys i believe this is one of those types of deals where it's if you get in early you can make a lot of money let's say you speculated earlier in january february or you knew information that other people didn't know or let's say even in earlier june let's say it, at any point if you got in early yeah sure it might be worth taking a risk but at this point, but it is awesome to watch this price change and this price movement and all these different things that are going on with TRCH. So if you want more updates on TRCH, Meta Materials, or any other gross stocks that you like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.